Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Justice of the Peace by Hilaire Belloc. Hilaire Belloc's full name is Joseph Hilaire Pierre René Belloc and he is an Anglo-French writer and also an historian. And in this poem, The Justice of the Peace, he expresses his sensitivity towards the social, political and economic inequality that is existing in the world. He says that God has given everything to all the men. Then, all the men should be having equal access to what has been given to God. But what is happening in today's world is, only a few are enjoying while the others are even denied access to all this. And actually it is against this inequality all the political thinkers and social philanthropists are fighting. And Hilar Belloc also in this poem, The History, Justice of the Peace, speaks about it. Now come, we'll go to the poem and see what he's trying to say. Actually this poem is like a landowner speaking to a poor man. And he directly starts the poem. He says, distinguish carefully between the two. So this man is saying, compare and see between the two. Two here means him and the poor man. This thing is yours, the other thing is mine. So he's saying, what all is here belongs to you and what all is there belongs to me. Now we'll see what belongs to whom. You have a shirt, a brimless hat, a shoe and a half coat. So he's saying, what is yours? You have a shirt, one shirt, you have one shirt. A brimless hat, you know the hats will have a brim so that when the sun is shining, it is a protection for your eyes as well as it will not make you blink. But this man's hat is brimless, meaning a cheap hat. A shoe and half a coat. So you have a shirt, you have a hat which is brimless, a shoe and half a coat. And then he talks about himself. I am the lord benign of 50 hundred acres of fat land to which I have a right. So he's saying, I am the man. See what you have is all this and what I have is a 50 hundred acres of land. And he says, this land, this 50 hundred acres of land is mine. So I have all the rights in this land. And at the same time, no one else has any right on this land. That is the 500 acres of land. You understand. So he's saying, do you understand? Am I clear to you? And then he continues, he says, I have a right because I have, because, because I have, he's making it very clear. See, I have and only I have. That is what he's trying to say. Because I have a right. And this all I have because I have the rights to have this. Meaning, it can be some property which is handed over to him from his forefathers, his parents. Or maybe he has acquired it through any way. But anyway, it is his. This 500 acres of land is his. And he has the land and because it is his, he has the rights. And then he continues, he says, Now be quite calm and good obey the laws so he's saying now what you have to do is you only have to be calm and you have to be also good and obey the laws obey the laws which is for the rich man which will protect my life which will protect my property which will protect my rights so he says the law is there to protect my rights and it is your work to obey the laws remember your low station Low station here means poor. Remember that you are a poor man. Do not fight against the goad. Goad is uh, actually a stick with a sharp uh, end. Actually, they'll use it to ride the animals because when they poke with it, that end, the sharp end will prick the animal and it will start running fast. They'll use it from elephants to ordinary animals. So he's saying, do not fight against the goad. You are trying to fight against the goad when you are trying to question me about my rights over the property because you know it pricks whenever the uncleanly demos kicks so he says when you fight with the goad what will happen you only will be pricked nothing is going to happen to the stick the stick will only come and prick you and you will suffer because of the pain and then he continues he says i do not envy you your hat or shoe he's saying logically we'll speak 
See, I am not jealous of your shirt or your brimless hat or your shoe. You are half coat. No, I am not. Am I jealous? I am not jealous of what you are having. No. Then why should you envy me my small estate? Then he is saying, why are you jealous of my property? And I only have a small estate. He is saying, that is that the 500 acres of land is a small estate for him. Here we can also say that he is trying to express his greed and his ambition to acquire more land in future, his plans. And then he says, it's fearfully illogical in you to fight with economic force and fate. And he is saying, it is illogical, it is not at all logic. You should be happy with only what you have. You cannot fight with me. And if you fight, it is going to be fearful. And with whom you are fighting is, you are fighting with the economic forces. Economic forces means you are fighting with a rich person. Rich people can be more powerful because they have money and fate he's saying you're also fighting against a fate see you are telling me that god only has created the world and so everything is equal but god only created you and he only made you to be born in a poor family and god created me and he gave me life in a rich family so this is fate you are poor and i am rich is fate so why are you illogically fighting against it Moreover, I have got the upper hand and above all, I am more powerful. Upper hand is I am more powerful because I have money and mean to keep it and I am going to show you my power. I am not going to keep my power in the safe. I am going to use it and mean to keep it. Do you understand? So, this do you understand is giving him a warning. If you are going to envy me or if you are going to fight with me or if you are going to protest against me, I will show you my upper hand that is my power and I will know how to prick you with a coat. So this is how the poem ends. It's a very beautiful poem and if you have anything to add on to this, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. And while subscribing, don't forget to press the bell button. Only then you will get the notifications of all the videos when I upload them. Thank you.